pleasant good morning to each and everyone. And let me warmly welcome each parent together with the children. At this time, we are going to start with the opening prayer read by Zamani Blenman. A prayer for graduation. Heavenly Father, give this encouragement to the ones who have worked hard on our great and special time of graduation. We thank you for, for protecting and guiding them to this point. All praise and glory to you. Inspire the graduates to put good use in all the knowledge, skills, and life lessons gained through their education. Most importantly, as they face their own challenges moving on, to help them keep their greatest wisdom of all, of that of knowing Jesus and the power of cross. A chapter has called another, another eagerly awaits. Pave their road with opportunities and inspire them to live with a hope in this incredible journey called life. Continue to bless with the graduates with your protection, mercy, strength, and wisdom. May they live passionately to honor and glorify your name. In Jesus' name, Amen. A pleasant good morning again and welcome. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Auntie Sarah. All right. Good morning. Good morning, Auntie Sarah. Sarah. Good morning, everyone. We got it here to celebrate and validate the graduation ceremony of 2021. I am Auntie Sarah, and I am honored to have the opportunity to welcome you. First of all, on behalf of my family, I would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony of 2021 at Sarah's Preparatory School. I also want to thank all parents, family, and friends for their love and constant support. For their guidance and patience, we truly owe you all that we are. Online school, an unforgettable journey that has prepared us for the future, whatever it may hold. The past year have involved some of the most memorable and influential moments of our lives. Individually, our experiences here are unique, but together we share a common bond, a family of 2021. I am filled with excitement and anticipation as the next stage of their life is about to begin, but without the support of parents or guardian, including myself, we may not have made it to this day. They have been there for us. We have been there for you since the beginning, guiding you, helping you, watching you grow. I have now witnessed them into mature and responsible boys and girls. Parents, you brought in a caterpillar and I give to you a butterfly. They are pounds heavier, inches taller, months wiser, more responsible and more mature than they were then. Although they would have attained their growth in spite of me, it has been my pleasure and privilege to watch their personality unfold day by day and marvel at the splendid miracle of development as they sprouted wings and confidently learned to fly. I give them back reluctantly for having spent almost a year together in the confines of a computer classroom, we have grown close because we have lived, loved, laughed, played, studied, learned, and enrich our lives together this year. We have become a part of each other, having left heart prints indelibly scattered 
for all times. I have cared for them as if they were truly my child. Now it is time to give back this precious little one. Always remember that I will be interested in your child and their destiny, whatever they, wherever they go, whatever they do, whoever they become. I, I, I had enjoyed hearing from you as I will always be their friend and friends never say goodbye. Only so long for a little while. Fly free, my little butterflies. Be all that you can be. At this time, we have the opening song, which is going to be done by the graduates of 2021. You raise me up. You raise me up. You raise me up. I am a queen, I am God, oh my soul's away, and my heaven's gone, so I am still, I love you, 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 you let me out, you let me out, Let's give the children a round of applause. Very good. Good job. At this time, we have a poem, which is going to be read by one of our non-graduate, Elena Rajbali, who is four years old. And her poem is entitled, Succeed. So we now have Elena Rajbali. Bravo, you did it. Now on to the next chapter of your life. It will be all praise and roses. But keep thinking positive and work to that strife. Keep standing, move on to something different. We sometimes hold our, our expectations. 
Sean, hi. Try not to be disappointed, but see all the good, so you will be strong, and we can watch you fly. That reason is an amazing thing. You suck with it and show you can. Many people are excited and impressed. Thanks for a guess how you made me a fan. I wish you all the best in your future. May it be everything you want and need. I see great things to come your way. You have what it takes to succeed. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alina. Good job, sweetie pie. Very, very good. At this time, we have another poem. I am a little graduate, which is going to be read by Selena Williams. I am a little graduate. I am a little graduate. Ain't you proud of me? I know my numbers and my ABCs. I made lots of friends and had fun too. Now I am off to the baking school. Very good, sweetie pie. Good job. Thank you very much. Yes. You're most welcome. Come on, guys. Let's give the kids a little clap. Very good. Good job. We are now moving on to a song, Rise Up by Tamika Darius. Tamika Darius is the mummy of Zaydan. So let's just give Tamika a an opening welcome round of applause, please. You've broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round. You can find a fighter, but I see it in you, so we will walk it out and move. We gon' walk it out and woo something. And I rise up, I rise like the day. I rise up, I rise on a prayer. I rise up and I do it a thousand times again. And I rise up. I like a wave, I rise up in spite of the age, I rise up and I'll do it a thousand times again. For you, for you. It's quiet, and it feels like it's a getting hard to breathe. I know you feel like dying, but I promise we'll bring the world to its feet. And woo, bring it to its feet. And woo. And I rise up, rise like the day. I rise up, I rise on a plane. I rise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again. For you. Oh, 
have each other. much Damika. That was absolutely breathtaking. Let's just give her a round of applause. Good job. Very good. At this time, we have another poem, which is going to be read by Rain Hernandez. And the name of the poem is entitled Great Expectation. Good morning, everybody. So I'm going to read Great Expectations. It's time to say goodbye. Our oh, year has come to an end. We made some cherished memories with all our peaceful friends. We watched each other learn and grow, change from day to day. We hope that all the things we've done have helped us along the way. So it's for happy memories. We all go out the door of great hopes, hope and expectation for what next year falls on the door. Thank you, my darling. Very well done. So let's just give Rain a round of applause. And let me just let you all know, even though Rain is graduating, Rain is just four years old. Thank you, Atawa. We have another poem. And the name of this poem is entitled Kindergarten Graduation. This poem is going to be read by Mila and Mia Hussein. They are sisters and they are twins. So let's just give Mila and Mia a round of applause. Very good, sweetheart. Good job. So let's give them a round of applause. Very good, love. So at this time, we have a guest, a guest, um, and a guest appearance by Miss Karen Maria Francisco. And Karen is the daughter of the Mighty Sparrow. And her song today. Uh, for the graduating class of 2021 will be 
the prey. Hello, everyone. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Karen, Maria, Francisco. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much. At this time, we have the feature address 
which is going to be by Miss Janine Brandt. And she is the reigning Miss World Trinidad and Tobago 2021. Good morning to the parents, students, and staff of Sarah's Preparatory School. I am Janine Brandt, Miss World Trinidad and Tobago 2021, and it is an honor to speak to you this morning on your graduation. I'd just like to start off by saying congratulations on making it to this milestone in your lives, especially during a pandemic. That must not have been easy for you to do your work at home, listen to your parents, listen to your teachers, and submit all of your work virtually. So you should be so proud of yourselves. I know the theme this year is to believe in the beauty of your dreams. And to me, my personal motto is anything you can imagine, you can create. Believe in your dreams, believe in yourself, do the things that make your heart sing. No matter what it is, you will achieve it. I guarantee you, I promise you, work hard and you're going to get there. So keep reaching for the stars. I wish you all the best on your journeys. And thank you so much for having me this morning. It's been a privilege to speak to you. Thank you, Miss Janine Brandt, the reigning Miss Trinidad and Tobago 2021. Mrs. Sarah Mohammed, Principal, Sarah's Proprietary School, Auntie Christy, our teacher, distinguished parents, students, I greet you virtually. I am Cynthia Griffith, past principal of the Beach Camp Community School and previously the head of the remedial department in the Point Fortin West Secondary School. I am proud and honored to have been asked to speak with you at this graduation exercise to have a little chit chat with you. To the graduates, Arian, Vashali, Zaydan, Rowan, Mia, Myla, Rain, Skylar, Kara, Divya, Amelia, Zaya, Selena, Mikhail, Kaden, Keegan, Naraya, Aria, Kelani, Jarel, or JL, Congratulations on your graduation. You were awesome. Please forgive me if I mispronounced anyone's name. You have all conquered and achieved success because the past academic year was difficult. You were introduced to learning online with all the difficulties, but you stayed the course with your teacher, Auntie Sarah, and achieve your dreams, which is graduating into the primary school system. I must congratulate you for a well-deserved job. Well-deserved job students. You will all go on to your new school in September with excellent academic skills, confidence, and all the social skills that were taught to you. I have all the confidence that you will make excellent students and you will be a shining light in your new schools. The theme for your graduation exercise, and I quote, is the future belongs to those who believe in the future of their dreams, unquote. A very powerful theme, I'd say. It is when you dream that you have the willpower to work hard. All of you have dreams and I have heard your dreams on your online class, for example, on Careers Day. Many of you wanted to be police officers, you wanted to be soldiers, you wanted to be firemen, you wanted to be doctors, lawyers, teachers, nurses. These dreams cannot be achieved without hard work. So parents, the button is passed to you. You must help your children and must to fulfill these dreams. Life is about moving on. The future belongs only to those who believe in their dreams. 
parents, how can we help our children? And there are a variety of ways in which we can do that. Some of these ways I will probably discuss with you now. One, take an interest in your child's interest. Studies have shown that children's best learning occurs when adults engage in the child's interest. Be engaged in your child's education and you do not have to be an expert. For example, my grandson likes dancing and I have been dancing with him. I cannot dance at all and sometimes he laughs at me and he says, Grandma, what is that? But I continue dancing with him because that is his interest and I am showing an interest in his interest. We should also motivate our students. One way that we can do this is praising their efforts and not their accomplishments. Be patient in their learning experiences. It's not about a competition so that the neighbor's child got 100% in mathematics, for example, and your child got 50%. And we would carry on in such a way that we frustrate the child, but that is not supposed to be so. We praise the child's efforts because if we don't, we will cause the child to give up on their work or themselves. Be specific with your praise. We may try to avoid the overused phrase, good job, and we may say instead, that's the best you have done. You have worked so hard on that. Oh, but that turned out to be very well. Now you have figured it out. That's quite an improvement. Set up parents a daily family routine, including healthy eating habits and sleeping habits. Some parents have their children up in the nights until 12 after 12, but we need to have a, 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 a cut off bedtime where students can go to bed because when we send them in our bed, their beds late, they, when they go to school the following day, they cannot function as best as they could. What we can also do parents is make homework space comfortable and check assignments. Talk with our students about the activities, feelings, and fears, and that is how we will be able to know our students, we'll be able to know what they are thinking. Tap into common resources with visits to the zoo, museum, etc. And a couple of weeks ago, Auntie Sarah did an excellent job um, taking our students virtually to the zoo. It was a pretend visit, but the students enjoyed every moment of it. It was creative and the students learned a lot. They enjoyed every moment of that. And I congratulate Auntie Sarah for that job well done, especially in this pandemic. We should also, as parents, attend PT and school activities because your input in, is very important in shaping your child's destiny. Promote literacy parents. Create an environment for reading in your homes. Your students, your children rather, should see you reading all the time. Reading must take place in the homes. You read your newspapers, you read your books. And one thing that I've tried and it worked very well is that I usually set up an half an hour for the day, a convenient half an hour where everybody in the household will read. Mother, father, siblings, um, helper, everybody will just spend half an hour reading and that worked very well for me. Prayer is very important. We should get our students in the habit of praying because that helps a lot. What better way to dream than to believe in the future of your children? To invest in our children is to invest in our country's human capital. They will have higher incomes, more opportunities, excellent educational experiences. Our communities will be better places for us to live in. Students who are moving on to the primary schools, I know that you will make Auntie Sarah proud, you will make your parents proud, you will make me proud. 
Work hard, be focused, practice your social skills, and you will be very good students in your new schools. I shall end this quote. I shall end, sorry, with this quote. The door of your dreams are not always visible, and the only way to see them is to create them. Thank you. At this time, we have the valedictory speech, which is going to be broken down into four parts. And the first child who will be reading first is Skyla Biran. The second part of the valedictory speech will be read by Kaden Billy. The third part of the valedictory speech will be read by Vishali Ramsumer. I am 
are moving on, but just because we are leaving and that hurts, there is some people who are so much a part of us here be with us no matter what. They are our solid ground, our North Star and the small clear voices in our hearts that will be with us always. Thank you, Vishali. And the last leg of the valedictory speech will be read by Zaya Williams. To say thank you to Auntie Sarah for playing such an important part in shaping and guiding us. We are grateful to have been able to work alongside these amazing teachers over the past years. Now we are stronger and on a solid foundation. We say thank you once again for now the best in us. So from the class of 2021, we say hats off to Sarah's Proprietary School. Thank you, Zaya Williams. Absolutely beautiful. At this time, we have the presentation of awards, which is going to be done by myself. When I call your child's name, I would be very happy if the child together with their parents can stand. At this time, I am going to acknowledge the prizes for improvement, most improved children, and also discipline. These kids will be given gold medals and book prizes. I now call upon Mikhail Maraj, and I'm asking parents, could you please give the children a big round of applause, please? Thank you. These kids have worked really, really hard from when they started to where they are at this time, and they are ready and more than ready for primary school. I now call on Kalani Guadalupe, Best wishes, Kalani. I now call on Arian Charles. Congrats and best wishes to Arian Charles. I now call on Selena Williams. Congrats and best wishes to Selena Williams. And last but not least, I now call on Rohan Ramlal. Congratulations, Mikhail, Kalani, Arian, Selena, Rohan, most improved students and discipline. They are also good at fine motor skills and very proficient with reading. So congrats and best wishes to these children. At this time, I am about to call the names of outstanding performance. I'm now about to call the names of outstanding performance. And these children will be given trophies, medals, and books. I'm kindly asking when your child name is called, can the child stand together with their parents? Keegan Devlal, outstanding performance. JL Cardinal, outstanding performance. Zaydan Darius, outstanding. Aidan Byron, outstanding Woo! performance. Amelia Phillip, outstanding performance. Rain Hernandez, outstanding performance. 
Divya Sutherland. Outstanding performance. Kira Sutherland. Outstanding performance. Naraya Charles. Outstanding performance. Mila Hussein. Outstanding performance. Mia Hussein. Outstanding performance. And last but not least, Aria Khan. Outstanding performance. These children have excelled in fine motor skills, discipline, reading, etc. I would like to say thank you to those parents who have worked alongside me. You did a really, really good job with these children. At this time, we have four students who stood out, four students who stood out for most outstanding student. And it is because they had reached a little, uh, um, uh, their reading skills have been extremely, extremely um, good. Reading, finishing actually, um, Nelson's West Indian first primer, second primer, introductory reader, book one, book two, book three, and book four. They have excelled in fine motor skills. They have excelled in discipline. They have excelled in reading. And they are, together with all the other children, really, really ready for primary school and more. I now call on the four most outstanding children of Sarah's Preparatory School Class of 2021. Vishali Ramsumir. Zaya Williams. Skylar Biran. and Kaden Billy. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all our students. Congratulations to you. All our students together with their parents. You have worked really, really hard alongside me. And this has been a very, very difficult year, learning via a computer, which is something I never thought I could have done in a lifetime and having children who started at the tender age of four, sometimes three, um, at the level of the alphabet, which was September of last year, to excelling at this stage in July 2021. You all have worked really, really hard, and congratulations. At this time, we have three special prizes for class attendance, and following myself, I will hand you over then to Auntie Christy, our art teacher, who will be um, give the prizes for outstanding art students. So before we move on to Auntie Christy, we have three special prizes for class attendance students who have been almost at school 100% attendance. And they are Kaden Billy, Vishali Ramstumer, and Skyla Biran. Congrats and best wishes. I now hand you over to our art teacher, Mrs. Christy Gopal, who will now call the names of the outstanding art student together with a little message. So welcome. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So good morning. good morning, 
Good morning to especially all my amazing artists. Invited guests. Good morning. Mrs. Good morning. Mrs. Sarah Mohammed, principal of Sarah's Preparatory School. Other students and most importantly, graduating students of 2021. Congratulations on making it so far uh, your next step before you reach the primary school. So I have had the privilege of creating art with all of your little ones for the last 10 months. And wow, it has been an amazing 10 months. They say time flies, truly flies when you're having fun. And I can't believe uh, almost a year has already passed us. Also, congratulations to Sarah on you know, accomplishing this milestone of having an online virtual graduation. It means that we have had to accomplish during this um, time. It's amazing. So my name is Christy Gopal. I'm the owner of Art, Art Factory TT. And these amazing artists, in case you haven't you know, been around all the time, have been involved in a co-curriculum art program. And this means that every art piece that their tiny little hands have been involved in have you know, in, incorporated into their art pieces, either mathematic skills, science, and literature. So every art piece was not just about creating art or just coming to paint. There was always a lesson involved, which they could take away with them and add to their creativity. From drawing the PTSD bus as we headed to Port of Spain, we dived into large collage work of the River Swamp in which a field trip was um, was used to top off our uh, anti serious school term. We celebrated our diverse culture as the kids um, got hands on by learning three skills where they made both things to celebrate Diwali and Valentine's Day, among many other interesting art projects where they did self portrait fairy tale art fiber arts where we use to celebrate Christmas. And we even then learn how to use direct drawing by demonstration by my, from myself to create art pieces such as masks and their favorite pets, among many other things that we did. There is a famous saying that creativity takes courage. And Henry Mattesey, a, fav a famous artist, this was his quote. And indeed, we can see that throughout this past year, I think everything took courage to get accomplished. And with, with that, we know that when a child creates art, the process encourages them to think outside the box. This past year has shown that many things as adults and as children, we had to think outside the box to get things done. So how do we... Sorry, when, when a child creates art, the process encourages them to think outside the box. How do we fix a mistake and make it into something positive? What's one of our main things? It wasn't about being perfect, but when they make a mistake, how do we fix it? And many times mistakes will turn into beautiful art pieces. That is often the case. We don't ever give up. Right? We try until it, we make it beautiful in the eyes of the artist. Pretty much we can relate this to many areas of our lives. Kids can relate this, adults can relate this, we can all relate to this, right? Because as we groom towards adulthood, we realize that we have to use the skill more and more. Make a mistake and turn it into something positive. Sometimes when trying to accomplish our dreams, we may get some lemons in between. The kids don't ever get discouraged. When you get lemons, we try to make something good out of it, which is lemon juice or lemonade. So my message to you, the graduating class of 2021 is go forward bravely and remember, it's okay to make a mistake because when you fix it, you will be surprised that it may be more beautiful than before. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your beautiful artistic journey and helping to create, create beautiful art with you. 
I'm very proud of each and every one of you. You are all superstars in my eyes. Thank you to Zero Preparatory for allowing me to be part of your journey. And I just want to remember, remind you all to keep shining on. Okay, so thank you all very much and congratulations on your next step ahead. So now I will move on to awarding the prizes for the most outstanding art students. You will be receiving trophies. Yes. Yes. So we have Cicely Zaya Williams. You just want to give her a clap. Kaden Billy. We have Rain Hernandez. Elena Ran Rajbali. And Vishali Ramsumai. So congratulations to each and every one of you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Auntie Christy. And again, congrats and best wishes to all those who um, received most outstanding um, from the art category. At this time, we have two more um, presentations. And these two children are not from the graduating class, but from the non-graduating class who have been the most out, um, who have been the most outstanding students from the year one class. And um, they have finished first primer, second primer, introductory reader, book one, book two, book three, and on to book four. These children are four years old and they were chosen among 30 students. Um, for being the best at fine motor skills, discipline, and reading. I now call on Elena Rajbali. Can we just give Elena Rajbali a round of applause? Elena is four years old and the most outstanding student girl from the non-graduating class. Also for boys, excelling, at reading in particular, almost to the level of book five, which is basically a, 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 like a form one, form two reader. We now have Zamani Blenman. Can we give Zamani a round of applause? Most outstanding male student from the class of 2021, ages three to four. These two students will be given trophies, a gold medal, and book prizes. So congrats and best wishes to all our students. You all have done exceptionally well, and you have made me proud. You have made your parents proud, but more importantly, you have made yourself proud, and you are on sturdy foundation to face the world. At this time, we move away from award presentation and we have a short poem, a congratulatory poem from Zamani Blenman to the class, to the, to the graduating class of 2021. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off on the way. You have dreams in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself into any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. You are the guy who decides where to go. All the places you go. Thank you, Zamani. Let's give Zamani a round of applause. Thank you, Zamani. We are almost to the end of our program and we have a song by the graduating class of 2021 
a million dreams. Very, very much, boys and girls. At this time, we have a solo singer, and his name is Zayden Byron, and he will be singing the song Moments. You might well be walking across that stage with a camera flashing. We're winging on a day. If this little journey has a myth, I won't even say. Oh, I wouldn't say. 
Zidane. Come on, guys. Let's give Zidane a round of applause. Very good. the last item before the vote of thanks and um, I would like to call on once again our guest singer Karen Maria Francisco who will be singing the greatest love of all. Hello everyone congratulations to the class of 2021 I'm honored to know some of you and I wish you all the best in your journey. Love of all is happening. 
very 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 heartwarming thank you so much um karen let's give karen a round of applause of course our kids are the greatest love of all at this time i am about to say thank you firstly to god almighty without him nothing is possible so thank you, God Almighty, for giving us this year, even though it was challenging, the strength that you gave all of us, including myself, parents, children. Thank you, God Almighty. The last day of school, the closing of one door and the opening of another. I want to thank each child for all the warmth, the memories and the learning that we have shared this school year. To my students, I say thank you for when I teach, I also learn. The past year we have grown together. A little bit of each other will always be with me. Always strive to be the best that you can be. Parents, I say thank you for allowing me to be your child's teacher. It was a wonderful and rewarding year for me. To the following persons, I would like to say thank you. I would like to say thanks to Miss Janine Brandt, the rainy Miss Trinidad and Tobago 2021. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and my fellow classmates. My name is Amani Blenman. I am honored to present this token of appreciation to you, Miss Janine Brandt. On behalf of all of us in this preparatory school, we thank you for joining us on the special day of graduation and hope that you continue to inspire more to ones like us in the future. Thank you, Ms. Brown. We appreciate you. I would like to say thank you to Karen Maria Francisco. Thank you. She's our guest speaker. And of course, as I mentioned, she is the daughter of the mighty Sparrow. Thank you very much, Karen, for sharing your morning with us. I would also like to say thank you to Tamika Darius. Tamika is Zayden's mummy, and I would like to say thank you very much. Thank you very much for your beautiful rendition. Thank you to Auntie Christy 
thank you for sharing your talent with us over the last year. And I am 100% sure the children were really, really happy. And as a matter of fact, I've told you on many occasions, on a Thursday, the art was really for the parents. They were all so very excited. Thank you very much, Auntie Christy. I would like to say thank you to my daughter, Faria. Those of you have never seen Faria via Zoom, but Faria works alongside me. She is my co-teacher actually, and um, prefers to be on the outside than the inside. And I would like to say thank you to Faria. I would like to say thank you to Granny. All my parents in the Point 14 area, you all are familiar with Granny. And I would like to say thank you to Granny for helping me um, with these packages, giving out the packages, recording the packages, recording the finances. And um, I'm really, really thankful to her. She's 80 years old. She has been with me for the last 26 years of my school life and in particular all graduations. And I would like to say thank you to Granny. Um, I would like to say thank you to my like my family, my husband, my children. Thank you. Um, all have been a very, very strong support. And um, without my family, I really couldn't do this. Last but not least, I would like to say thank you to, I wouldn't, I don't consider this person a parent, but rather my family now. I would like to say thank you to Teresha Williams. Teresha is the mother of the money. And I would like to say thank you to Teresha. Um, Teresha has been my backbone from the inception of online school um, as of September of last year, helping me with the photocopying. And um, I, I don't have enough words to say thank you to her. So on behalf of my family, on behalf of the children, and on behalf of the parents of Sarah's Preparatory School, we would like to say to, uh, thank you to Teresha Williams. And last but not least, I would like to say thank you to all my beautiful boys and girls. You've made my entire year a year of learning, a year of happiness, a year that was absolutely rewarding. I am definitely going to miss you guys in September. And as I say to all my parents, I'm just a phone call away. So thank you once again. I hope that you enjoyed um, the class of 2021 graduation ceremony. And I look forward to seeing you all um, from 2.30 at my residence to collect your awards. Across that stage with the cameras flashing, they've been waiting on our day. It's been a journey, hasn't it? I wouldn't trade a moment. No, I wouldn't change a moment. I'm who.
Goodbye. Hasta la vista. And I'll see you again.